All right, guys, so uh, my Python's up and running. It's ready to go. So first thing we're going to do is just import Folium. And let's just go straight to their documentation and start working with what they have. So if we go to quick start getting started, they're saying to create a map, do this. So we're going to copy that in. And then they're, they're using an example with a Jupyter Notebook. I'm not going to use a Jupyter Notebook for these examples. Uh, I might in the future, but for now, I'm just going to run this in a normal Python script. And then we need to save it to an index.html file. So this is three lines of code. We should be able to get a map up and running. So here we just need to specify where we want to save this project. So um, I'm going to save it in this Python project. So E slash Python project. So I usually just go to where it is and copy this as text. And I'm going to put that here. Make sure it's in quotes. And I'm going to run this. And you'll see that uh, index.html file will get created. E slash main.py. Oh, why is it trying to run that? Hmm. Um, we I was running the wrong file. <laughs> so you see there, we got an index.html file created from this Python script. So if we just open this up and take a look, you notice it's it, it generated this for us. So it has, it's just an index.html file with all the, all the um, um, links to the bootstrap, the um, leaflet, jQuery, all that stuff's in there. And we have information about where we want this map to be started. So it's just doing all that for us, which is cool. So if we open that file up, you see we have a map. And that was very easy to get up and running. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is, I don't like how it's zoomed into Portland like this. I kinda of wanna just get it out to the extent of the world, something like this. Um, and how I usually do that is if you go over here, this is the latitude and this is the longitude. So if we say I want the longitude to be zero, which is the prime meridian, which is like right around here. And then latitude, for some reason, 37 stuck in my head. I think that's what I used for, for the last project. So 37, let's just see where that puts us. So we have to run the script again because it needs to regenerate that index.html file. So now if we open it up, you see we are zoomed in, but we're, we're in too tight. So we need to have the initial thing start out a little further. Um, and there is a way to do that. Zoom start. Here we go. So I'm just going to copy that. Actually, I'm going to copy the whole block. Well, no, they just had a comma after location. So should just be able to do this. Zoom start is 12. So let's bring this down to like two. And just run it again. All right. And now I'm just going to refresh the index.html page. And you can see that's where it's bringing. So that's out a little too far. Let me try 2.5. Cool. That's what I wanted. So that looks good. Okay. So cool. This is looking good. Um, the next example they have here is, um, actually I'm going to copy this so we can use, no, we don't need to do that. So they're just saying here, we could, there's a bunch of different ways we can use different sorts of maps, like different, um, tiles. So here they're saying you can use Mapbox if you provide your API key, but we don't want to get into that right now. What we want to do next is I want to add a, a marker. So I'm going to copy this code. Actually, let's copy both of these codes or pieces of code. 
So M dot save, that's gonna always be the last thing we do. So folio marker. So we don't need this tool tip. Let me get rid of that for now. And now it's basically saying it's gonna put these two markers on, on the map. So let's see how this works. Okay, I'm just gonna refresh it. And you see, there we go, it put two markers on the map. And if we click it, we'll see the pop-up. So cool, so you can start seeing like how we're gonna start using this. We're gonna, with that API, we're gonna get the API, loop through all the results, and each time, uh, each loop, we're gonna add a marker and just add some pop-up information. Um, so I think that's a good place to stop for this video. And then in, in the next video, we'll talk about how we can get um, handle that uh, API request.